Hello, and welcome to part five of my City Living LP. Um, and in this part, we open with um, these live game discussions. So, um, oh, that didn't go so well. Uh, so, after the events of last night, oh, don't you dare leave. This literally happened a second ago. But anyway, after the events of yesterday, um, when basically, uh, there, what's his name? Uh, Stephen and Penny nearly got mugged in an alleyway in um, the Spice District. Um, they found, they're lucky, they're very lucky to find that um, Ingrid actually kind of saved them a bit and it, you know, um, oh, oh, no, no, not on to full speed, but yeah, um, and of course she's yelling at him. Um, so basically, um, she beat, uh, if you didn't see the machinima, I recommend you check it out, it's very quick, but she, uh, they were being followed after the Human Hijinx Festival, they were followed home by this guy who eventually called them to an alley and he tried to mug them. And then Ingrid saw this, and being the kind of vigilante she is, she decided, um, she yelled at him, and she was like, hey, and then she beat him up, and yeah, he he ran away, and luckily for these two, they're completely safe, and with all their money and everything's fine. But, um, yeah, they thought, after the, um, she reported them to the police, she called the police and everything, and after that, um, these lots thought they'd have a bit of discussion, they'd, they'd meet up and talk. Um, and this is actually Ingrid's roommate, Sebastian Duman, um, and yeah, uh, these two live uh, just over there in this apartment, actually. And it's the apartment I made recently in a video. In, well, not recently, it was a while ago, but it's the apartment I made. I made, and um, I just, they, they just thought they'd beat up and have a little conversation about everything that happened. Kind of thank Ingrid for, you know, being there for them, because, you know, that was very stressful, the whole situation. They were very worried and everything. But yeah, so we're just going to try and have a nice conversation with her. Um... Because, you know, that's just not a good way to get started. But, yeah, she's... They just introduce themselves to Sebastian. And Sebastian's... Um, he's kind of like a... He, I think he's a bit of a goofball. But, um, yeah, these lot are really getting along quite well. And, you know... Um, oh, she's an art lover. That's nice. Um, so, yeah, her name's Ingrid Uno. Um, and, yeah, she's an art lover. So, she she really does love art and things like that. So, um, that's interesting. Um, but, anyway, we're going to... We should talk to these guys a bit. Oh, don't you... Oh, don't run away. Please stop that. Just don't... It actually annoys me. Because I'm trying to have a conversation over here, but they keep running over there to the art gallery. Um, but yeah, they're just having a little conversation that, like, they're just like, oh, thank you so much, Ingrid. I don't know what we do without you. And we're just all like, yeah, well, you guys shouldn't be... You guys shouldn't, like, be going into an alley, you know. But it's not a very clever idea. Um, she's just sort of being a bit, like... She's being a bit hard on them, to be honest. But, you know, she kind of feels like she has to because... They weren't being the most intelligent, so we're gonna have these two talk to her a bit, and um, yeah, it's sorry that um. So basically, um, they've just they've just uh, I don't know. They, they decided. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so they've just spoken to her, and they're very, very, they're very, very grateful. And she's, you know, she's like, oh, it's nothing, honestly. Um, um, yeah, and it turns out she's actually a um. Let's, hold on, let's actually have a look first. Let's see what she does let's ask about career can you do that um oh there we go it is over there so we'll ask about career to see see what she does it's like they're just trying to make a bit of small talk really um and yeah so she's um she's actually a politician in um citizen in for concerned citizens of my you know so um you know to be honest but he's kind of wondering if there were maybe like more um popularity kind of motives behind it all um or if it was just out of the pure goodness of her heart but you know i think ingrid's a nice enough person she probably just did it because she knows it's right um and she kind of has that kind of like strength and kind of power over people that she would she'd be able to like tell like yell at them and kind of get people like this to sort of like go away and like leave people alone it's just i don't know she's um she's very very strong as a person i think but um i didn't make these sims and they do live in the apartment i made as i said um and actually, as they're talking, you know, they're just asking Penny and uh, Stephen, like, it's just it's like, oh, so are you guys like a, a couple or anything? And they're just like, uh, no, that, no, mm, yeah, no, thanks. I think we're, we're cool. We're, we're not. We're really, really not. Um, especially considering Stephen's gay. So, yeah, that'd be a bit, um, yeah. But uh, Penny's just like, yeah, he's just, he's just kind of living on my, um, he just sort of like living in my apartment for a while. His boyfriend kind of kicked well his boyfriend cheated on him and they live in a one bedroom hell at flat so it's kind of difficult for them to relive so i thought i'd let him stay over mine and he was like oh that's great um 
actually, I, we, we, uh, like, and Sebastian brings this up, he's like, well, we actually have a spare bedroom at our apartment if you'd really like to have it. I mean, um, it's up to you, of course. But, um, yeah, they're just sort of, they're just sort of talking about it. And Stephen's like, oh, okay. So he's, he's, a, bit, he's a bit surprised by, like, the, the gesture. And he hasn't really been expecting that, but he's just like, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm doing quite well with Penny at the moment, but to me, Penny's just sort of like, Penny does really like the company, but at the same time, she does kind of feel like he should really move on. And I think this is a good opportunity for him, but she thinks that at least, um, um, you know, they've they become really good friends over the time. And I think I might have them become best friends at some point, but Stephen's like, you know what, if I give you my number, um, I can give you a text and I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, thanks. And they're like, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's up to you, of course. But we would really like to have like, a new roommate. And I don't know, it's good that we kind of know you, I guess. Um, and yeah, because these two, um, their, their roommate recently moved out. And, you know, they, just, they were looking for a roommate around. And um, Stephen's like, oh, wait, wait, where's your apartment? And they're like, oh, it's in this building. And Stephen's like, oh, actually, I remember looking at one of their buildings. Aren't they really expensive? And they're like, oh. Honestly, it'd be fine. If we split the rent three ways, it'll be absolutely fine. But yeah, so they're just going to talk a bit more about that, like, how they came to- Oh my gosh, my phone, shut up! Sorry, I hit my phone. But, um, these two are like, well, um, we'd probably just be going now, so. They're going to go off to, I think, Rashino Meadows and have a bit- Actually, no, let's go back to Penny, Penny's apartment, and I think we'll have them have a bit of a talk about things, and just see how every- how, what they feel about things. So, Sebastian's like, okay, just, like, let us know. Um, so yeah, Sebastian comes off pretty friendly. Um, Ingrid's a bit, uh, she can be a bit harsh on people, you know, she, um, but yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll pick up when I'm back at their, at Penny's apartment. So we're back at Penny's apartment and Darren's actually in the hallway, so we're going to have Penny just going yell at him. He's like, just kind of like getting the culture to be like, what are you doing? Why are they friends? You know, each other they're not friends. Let's just have a yell at him. Um, be like, be like, what are you doing here? You know? And he's like, I live here, can I not live here as well? It's like, hmm, well, why don't you just leave? So she's going to yell at him a bit. Because she's still very defensive over Stephen. And she, because she's a bit older than him. She's about, I'd say she's probably about like 24 and he's like 19. He's very, very young. Like, it's kind of weird how he's like moved out all by himself already. But yeah, he's, um, he's very, he's very, very young. And, um, you know. He's very naive, and she kind of recognises that she's a good, a good few years older than myself. She's like 23, 24. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have um, Stephen just like maybe just playing some video games. So we're gonna have Penny maybe make some like late lunch, perhaps. I guess she can do a bit of cooking. Does she have a cooking skill? I don't know. Oh, she's level seven. Okay, yeah, she does a cooking skill. So I think I'll have her make them some. I don't know. What's what's quite nice to have? I guess we make some fish and chips. That's a bit. Eh, I don't know. I. <sighs> I don't really like the idea of blackened base. Oh, omelette! I go for omelette. Omelettes are nice. I like omelettes. So she's gonna make them some omelette, and um, yeah, Stephen's just gonna go on here. I think we should have him do a bit of updating his profile. Um, so let's have him go to his social media, uh, social networking. Did you name how a social media profile? Oh my gosh! I thought I did that in the last episode. Okay, well I guess not. So we'll do that. And um, I don't remember. Did we? Um, did we have him work from home yesterday? I don't really remember. But he's, at the moment, he's not really giving it much thought. He hasn't really, um, he hasn't really thought much about, um, what, uh, what Ingrid and, well, not what Sebastian kind of mentioned to him. And he doesn't, he doesn't really know what to think about it. He doesn't, he's, he thinks that he's got a while to think about it. But Penny, Penny knows that he should really get in there before anyone else does. Because, you know, they're bound to, like, meet someone else. And they'll be like, oh, do you want to, like, move in? We haven't got anyone with us right now. So it's kind of important that he does, actually, um, that he does kind of cooperate. So she's going to try and talk to him about it. Um, but to be honest, Stephen doesn't, he doesn't really want to move out. He's kind of a person who really just wants to stay in their comfort zone. And he doesn't really want to, he doesn't really want to, you know, explore different areas and at the moment he feels comfortable with Penny and he, do he doesn't want to go elsewhere and live somewhere else it's just it's quite intimidating to him so um we're gonna have Penny call to meal and I think we'll have him not update his profile 
one more time. Because, you know, Penny's like, Penny's must have got him into this business, you know, it's very, very um, interesting. So he's just going to keep on grabbing omelette. I think we're going to have these two come sit here. I'm going to have her put on, a, put on the news or something like that. So we can have her, oh, she can stream that, but that's cool. Uh, so let's have her watch channel, watch news. And Steven's just going to come over here and he's going to watch some news too. And he's going to sit here because please. Okay. So come on, Steven, just go sit on the sofa and we can talk to Penny about things. So yeah, we're going to have him do a bit, have a bit of a conversation about it all and just, um, and he's, and she's like, listen, um, have you thought much about what, um, Sebastian said to you? And he's like, um, I don't know, not really, but, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I've got a while. And she's like, and, and Penny's like, listen, okay, Stephen, I've lived in the city for a very long time, pretty much most of my life. Um, if you don't get in there before anyone else does, you're not, you're going to lose this position. And, you know, he doesn't want to do that, so he's thinking about it. But in all reality, I don't know, Stephen's, he just feels very, like, calm about it. He hasn't, he hasn't really recognised it, but he's like, Listen, Stephen, when I came to San Mishino, I, I would have given anything for a place like this. Like, anywhere. Like, literally, they lived in such a good apartment. You know what it's like. And he's like, I guess, that's kind of true. So, she's like, listen, just at least give it some thought, okay? Because if you don't, you'll probably regret it. And he's like, I will. Um, But in the meantime, she's like, why don't we invite them out? And in a bit and you can like think about it and then you can tell them then, I don't know. Talk to them a bit, get to know your possible future roommates a bit more. If you get a room to yourself, imagine there's so much you can probably do it now, you can, it's like your own space. Right now you live in my kitchen, that's not exactly a permanent living solution. And he's like, that's true. But um, yeah, she's gonna just kinda, she's just trying to cheer up a bit. Cause I think um, she was quite shaken about the whole mugging instance, but it's not the first time this has kinda happened to her. She's lived in the city for a very long time, so she's quite used to things like sexual harassment that she kind of lives with. So she's very used to like the typical themes of the city. Not saying that sexual harassment doesn't happen outside the city, but you know, and she's used to fighting it. But uh, with him, he's very new to all. He's very young, very naive, and um, yeah, we're gonna have a pride in this day. But she's like, yeah, why don't we go out? Why don't we go out and we can go to like a karaoke bar? What about the one just down the road from here? And he's like, yeah, I guess that's true. I haven't really been before, so yeah, they're gonna we're gonna have them go to the karaoke bar. It's getting kind of late anyway, so I think it'd be kind of cool for them to go then. What the hell is Darren doing in our apartment? Oh my god, this is terrible. We're gonna have Stephen come up to him, and he's 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 actually this is kind of when he's realizing that you know another reason why this is not a good like living so solution. So we're gonna have him yell at him and just completely be like why are you here you don't live here oh my gosh that was such a plot twist what the hell darren leave get the hell out of here no one wants you here we hate you okay oh god i hate him so much i hate darren i hate darren so much he can just so we're gonna have penny yell at him we're all gonna just yell fest just yell at darren day oh well, let's all do it in the bathroom brilliant idea guys you know all just yell at darren in the bathroom so we're gonna have her be like yell at him we've got to get her relationship with him into the red at least she really dislikes darren so steven's like you were never even good that we were hearing anyway and he's like i was brilliant okay don't say that that's just no one says that in real life that's just kind of weird um at least i hope they don't because, i mean i don't know but yeah she's just um she's just like you don't go away we don't want you here you're never welcome into my apartment you never will be okay just stay the hell away from me gosh and you know she's just she's very she's being very pissed off at him and yeah hopefully her saying go away will mean he'll go back to his apartment i really hope so can we do you want to use the toilet i don't know okay so let's ask him to leave because he's not he's clearly not leaving and he should leave why is he looking at himself in the mirror? Okay, is this your mirror? Exactly. So, go away. Um, yeah, exactly. Sorry, I kind of hate him. Um, in case you haven't noticed, Darren's a douchebag and he cheats on people and then he expects them to stay with him. And he's like, listen, she's like, listen, Stephen's in a very emotional state right now and you just need to, like, get the hell out of here. So, um, how about you just go back to your apartment across the hall? Because it's really not that far, Darren. And he storms off. So, 
She's like, yes, another one of the penny pizzazz. <sighs> but yeah, so we're gonna have them go to the karaoke bar and hopefully meet Ingrid and Sebastian there and I'll pick up when we're there. So here we are with them at Planet Honey Pop and oh my gosh, is that, that's, oh my god, the, he's so thin. I just realized how thin the vampire is from vampires. That's so weird. I think I'm gonna sneeze in a second. Ah, and uh, appears she's got some dirty plates. So as I was Steven saying hi to Ingrid, she'd be like, hi, thanks for coming. And she's like, oh, no problem. I'm sorry I was a bit grumpy earlier on. I was in a good mood after yelling at that guy. It just kind of hurts me to see people, I don't know, be so attacked. And Peony's going to go in and she's going to show off her karaoke skills, which she doesn't actually have. Um, I know it's just me. I swear Penny Pizzazz was meant to have a good like singing skill, but no, she has, she's singing school level one. Oh, it's karaoke night. Ooh, so we can have them participate in that. Uh, let's have Penny come and order. Okay, are you not a mixologist? I guess not. Well, I guess we'll just have these up talk a bit more. Um, and I guess we should, she can get involved in their conversation. Brighten her day. Um, and, like, no doubt about it. Penny, she has become really attached to Stephen. She hasn't developed anything. Well... I don't know. I feel like she kind of has, but she'd never, she'd never ever take advantage of her feelings over Stephen, like ever, because she kind of, she's very protective of him, and she just wants, she always wants the best for him. That's basically her situation. But she doesn't want. She knows he's gay. She knows he hasn't got. She hasn't got a chance with him. She knows he's a lot younger. And it just, you know, it just, it might be a bit weird. But yeah, I think to be honest. He's really grown attached to him and she's just very protective and she just doesn't she doesn't want to see him hurt so she does want him to move in she does want him to take this opportunity and um i don't think there's much that she, uh, he can say to really refute that because she's gonna make sure he does and you know she still wants to be involved she still wants to be his friend you know and i think that's partially what he's afraid of and she wants to make sure that he's not holding himself back because of her he's not she's not going to mention anything about how she really feels because she knows that if she did that, it'd probably mean that he wouldn't do it. Because he cares for her as well. They're, like, really, really close, these two. Um, honestly, I don't know. I really like them as friends. Like, they're honestly, like, such good friend goals. I'm just saying. Um, and I did just use the word friend goals. But it kind of is. They are, they are friend goals. Can to be honest? Like, seriously, these two get along so well. And I think I want to have them become best friends, like, soon. So I'm going to see. I think, I think the interact the option already comes up. But I don't know. So these are flaming zesty salts. Uh, let's tell an engaging story. So yeah, go have some drinks. I guess he's probably talked to us Ingrid, and I think you're know where this is going. So you know, Stephen, he has been thinking about it quite a bit, and he thinks that after re seriously taking in everything Penny said, he does seriously think that um, it's probably a really good idea to take to take on board what she said and. Just kind of go with it. Um, I mean, he's kind of feeling a bit of a reckless mood. He doesn't really care. But I think, especially after Darren kind of broke into Penny's... Well, he didn't break it. I think he saw the doors open. And they just sort of went in. And he just... After all that, he just realised that he needs to move on from Darren. He needs to get away from all that. Because it's just so negative And it's just so... Oh, Christ. No. Go away, Ronda. No one cares about your life. Um, I'm actually rude. Um, but yeah, he just... He realises that this is this is a chance he really should be taking. Um, and I, you know, he does have his fears. And he does, he does worry about Penny, to be honest. Because Penny's still with, um, Penny's still with Darren, isn't, isn't she? So, you know, she's, um, she's going to be kind of alone, maybe. And he, and he doesn't know. He, he, he just doesn't know. He just thinks that maybe, maybe she'll worry about, I don't know. He, he just, long story short, he just thinks that, um, he's going to go for it. So he's going to tell Ingrid, she's like, listen, um, um, I think he probably, he should probably tell Sebastian, who's double drink, <laughs> wow, two drinks. Um, so we're going to tell him, we're going to be like, listen, um, I have thought about your offer and I do admit I would really actually quite like to move in. Um, cause he's also been thinking about their apartment, like their apartment is really nice, they've got a beautiful view. And it's just really good. And, you know, it's just... He's like, that's brilliant, that's great. We, oh, we, I can't wait to have you over. You must come over, like, as soon as possible. And, you know, um, I think Penny's very... 
part of her's like very sad but she's not gonna show you that she's gonna be like i'm really really happy i'm so glad you chose that because honestly i would have probably slapped you if not um and yeah she probably would have um but let's have penny's feeling a little bit um a little bit lonely right now because they've all done that so she's gonna sing in the carriage con contest there's you funky sims that sounds interesting oh this blooming woman go away leave reset object sing hotter than sin yes yeah, so we can have penny go and sing a song <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, she's a toilet. Ugh. Oh, look. oh, God. She's terrible. Oh. But yeah, these lot are very, I like getting on very well. And he's just like, and Sebastian's like, oh, that's, that's great. Um. Oh, so th he's just being very happy. And he's like, and also, so he's, he's kind of going to tell them a bit about like how he's lived and Honestly, when when he's telling them this, um, Ingrid, like, Sebastian can see it. He's, like, like kind of adjusting her, like, don't say anything, don't say anything. Because she's she can be very judgmental about these kind of things. And she, she can, she's just very, like, you seriously moved in with a guy, like, a day after you met him? Okay, this guy's clever. And the fact that he moved in without looking at the terms and conditions of an apartment or even looking at it. And she just thinks he's done some stupid things, but she's not going to say anything because, as I said, Sebastian's kind of given her the side eye. She's like, don't say anything, Ingrid. Don't say anything because you'll regret it. Just shush, shush your mouth. Don't, don't talk right now because you're, you're going to say something you don't mean. And uh, it's just stupid. And, you know, fair enough, to be honest, because Ingrid, yeah, she, she, she sometimes speaks her mind a little bit too much, to be honest. So, yeah, she should take it easy. I think you should talk to Ingrid a bit more because he hasn't really spoken to her much and, you know, these two are supposed to be um, roommates soon, so it's probably... Has Penny gone to the toilet? Penny, go to the toilet! Oh my gosh, go to the toilet, quick! Quick! Hurry up, woman. Oh, don't pee yourself. But yeah, this is a very, like, phenomenal... Uh, phenomenal. Is that to say it right? Yeah. Phenomenal moment in Stephen's life. He's kind of found, like, a place where he can properly settle down. He's very happy with that. I think these two are leaving... Uh, are they leaving? Yeah, they're leaving. So they've probably just been like, listen, we're going to head home. But yeah, um, give me a ring I'll and let me know when you want to move in. So yeah, I'm going to have... Uh, that's, so that's that, basically. That's the end of the karaoke night. Um, and Penny's feeling a little bit down. She's like, oh, I kind of wish he wouldn't. Because like, you know, if they could get them home together, they could be like, do fun things. But she knows that he really has to kind of move on with this and she knows that living near Darren especially is not a good way of moving on from him um so yeah but um I think I'm gonna end the part there I'm gonna look a little bit at the end just so we can pick up quite smoothly in part five, part six and after this episode a part's gonna come on a lot quicker because now I know now he's settled down he knows where he's staying you know things will be a lot smoother so that's cool I keep hiccuping like five times. It's really, really bad. But yeah, he's um, he's very, very. This is this is good. This is very, very good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'll pick. I'll. I'm gonna go do my little machinima and just show you what happens. What will happen in the next few weeks or so. And um, yeah, I'll pick up. In I'll see you in the next video. Bye.